Good morning. Hope everybody's doing well. Beautiful here this morning. About 25, cool breeze. So it's not too bad under my shade <laughs> for now. I'm gonna, I got a few things I wanna show you before I get to work while it's nice and cool still. Don't have to be sweaty when I'm talking to you. Nice and cool. So what have I been doing? Yesterday I went out to uh, trying to find some stuff. I got some more screws to build the waterfall here. I'll show you my updates at the end of the day. So if, uh, you've already seen what I've, um, I've been doing. Uh, so yesterday I went to get some more screws, but I needed to buy water filters for my uh, drinking water filter system. And uh, the lady I used to buy them from, she's closed down. Because I bought the whole set, I would buy uh, the house filter, which was says 10 microns, and then I'd get about a minus, what is it, like 0.5 or 0.3 micron for the drinking water. And then there would be a ceramic filter for bacteria, E. coli, etc. And then there was a um, carbon filter and a resin filter for taking out chemicals and tastes and odors and things like that. So, uh, you know, and when, it's, when you put the new filters in, let it run through for five minutes so it's nice and clean and then uh, cleans all the filters too. And then um, you get clean water for four to six months. They say about every three months you should change them, but I'm here alone. I, you know, occasionally somebody will come and they'll drink a cup of tea or something. So um, it's only drinking water, so it's mainly me. So, you know, if they say three months for two people, then six months for me, right? So this is my house filter, believe it or not, and that's been on there about six weeks. Look at the color of it, black. It's a clear case like this, so you can see the filter black so that's how the water sent to the house unfiltered I can't I just can't get over it one time I was uh, sitting there having a shower and I looked at the I was you know rinsing myself off look at the floor and the floor is black with the dirt that's coming through the I'm like what the hell's happening so that's how they send it to the house still today so uh, I can change the filter some days it can last three weeks before it starts to get dirty. Other days it can get dirty within one hour. And they cost a hundred baht a go to change them. Actually I found now in Mr. Uh, the new shop called Mr. DIY, you can get them for 50 baht. So it's not so bad. There's many things that I don't tell you guys about that drive me up the wall, but you just have to, if you want to stay here, you just have to put up with it and say this is how it is. So I changed the filters, washed the wall, letting this run for five minutes to clean it all out so I can start using it nicely. And this is the water filters already. Clean water. I just put that on there. It's clean, clean. Brand new. And this is the water that's being sent to the house, you see? So if you didn't have that filtered, you're washing your face and your hands in it. So that's the water finished. One saga over, another begins. So what's the next project? Well, I've been looking for some uh, epoxy resin solution forever, and I can't find it nowhere. Well, in my new hardware store, I found some. I went and I asked the other day, no. I asked again, no. I got somebody to speak Thai for me. Oh yeah, we have it. No problem. And the, you know, you hear that mimey, don't have, right? So anyway, I said, where is it? I asked some questions and I got nowhere. But I bought it because I thought I'm gonna experiment with it. It's not expensive. But this is, look at this. This is, I wanna show you what the, the dilemma is. So for anybody who knows anything about resin, there are many different brands right some is done by weight some is done by ratios on the mixture but I wonder what the this one is see the label no label nothing but all they said is this is the epoxy and this is the resin the hardener okay how much hardener do you put to the uh, to the resin to the epoxy resin how much no instructions 
Maybe they have a data sheet. No. So I said, can you look in your computer and see if there's anything that can give me a hint of what it is? Or, you know, the name, a website, a data sheet, so I can, you know, safety precautions. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. So I have to, it, it, it has a little label with a barcode, the store name, and resin. And the other one says, um, hardener. There's two hardeners. Why do you have two hardeners? If you look through the, the glass bottles, they're different colors. So now you see what I say about, do you really want to live in Thailand? It, you know, here, here's, here's a funny side, okay? What is mindfulness? Mindfulness is learning to not get stressed, right? So where does that come from? Where, do you, where does that terminology come from? It comes from Asia, right? And I think it comes from Asia because you have people, and Asian people live in Asia, and if you don't develop some kind of mindfulness, you, you'll crack up or kill somebody, or blow up or break something. Because on a daily basis it's like this. You've seen the water filter? I'm, I'm, my fridge is not playing up, my, my fridge is not working right, so it has, says on the front, 10 year warranty. So I got somebody to call for me to say, you know what to do and then they give you all this stuff you have to do to see if it will fix it nothing and now we're waiting for a local guy who says he's ordering a part meanwhile my fridge is not working right it's it's the, the box is cold the fridge is cold the freezer is cold as the fridge but it won't freeze water if it won't freeze water it's not keeping the meat cold so you just have to wait until he's decided he's ready to come so I'm thinking, if he's not here by Friday, I'm going to tell him a few sweet words in English and go buy a new one. And remain mindfulness and at peace so my internal environment is gentle and kind so I don't get stress and anxiety and develop a dis-ease. <laughs> so if you want mindfulness, come live in Asia. Because you will develop it or crack up or leave. If you leave, you know, that's why I was talking about a couple weeks ago about leaving, for that very reason. Everything I want to do, you know, you just think, oh, I'll just run off to Lowe's, to a, you know, hardware store, and get what I need. I have everything. All labeled, people, most of them that I, where I went, I knew who to ask and who not to ask for information. But you can figure it out, and off you will go and do your project. waterfall update so that top rock this half a rock really I don't know if you can see that very well so that's like half a rock which will come down to this one boulder big boulder okay so that's to today's job and then came over here and built this panel here and the lady is going to sit here what I decided to do was I got my glasses on my head because every time I put them in my pocket, I bend over and break them. So I gotta order some online. I keep breaking them. I try to, the ones I buy here from Thailand, they don't last five minutes. These I got from Wally Mark and they last a long time. They're quite strong. So I'm gonna see if I can buy them online. So I put them on my head so they're not in my pocket. So that's the waterfall update. But I wanted to say this before I forget. Thank you so much for all your birthday wishes. I put a video up on Monday, it, my birthday was Sunday, last Sunday, I put it up on Monday, today's Wednesday, and um, so I haven't forgot, but today's the next day after, right, I didn't do, do one on Tuesday, but I just wanted to say thank you so much for the video messages you sent, and for the written messages you sent. I think I got more birthday wishes um, this year than I ever have. And all because of you guys, so thank you so much. I have some good news about the uh, the uh, resin. I got somebody, Thai friend, looking online for it. And there's actually a shop that sells it in Bangkok. Tomorrow is the uh, photo fair in uh, Bang Na, Bangkok. And I've been for the last like three years. But 
this year I was like, oh, it's it's a photo fair coming. I'm excited, I'm excited. Then I thought, I don't want anything. I'm just going to go look. Ha go there and have a nose around. Because I don't, you know, last year I just needed the video head uh, tripod. And I found that, a really nice one. And cheap, cheap. You know, I believe 1,000. 500 baht or something 1200 baht something like that and the the the, um, the video had pans beautifully so uh, I don't need anything else this year so I'm, I'm thinking I'm still I was still gonna go but then I was thinking I gotta drive from here to Bangkok and then all the way through the other side of it you know almost down to the water to Bang Na and I'm like you know something I don't want to do that it's like an hour and 45 minutes so 40 minutes of it is on highway and then there's about an hour of it trying to get through Bangkok. You can go on the top roads, what do you call it, the um, Torrey, which is higher up above the street. I think, nope, I'm not driving all the way. Because when you're trying to come out, it can take you a half an hour to do like 200 meters to get through the traffics, all the traffic and the traffic lights. I thought, no, I'm not going to go. So anyway, somebody found a shop for me that sells the uh, resin and the people said yeah we're, we have a shop or we can ship it to you so part of me wants to go there and see and have a rest tomorrow but another part of me is like stay here and work <laughs> dilemma but um, I'm alright now so I'll say good night look after yourselves thank you so much again for all your messages look after yourselves buckets of blessings rivers Peace, joy, and kindness. And I hope all your illnesses vanish. And you're healthy, wealthy, and wise. Good night.